Hey everyone, this is David with Benchmark. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a S321 as a base and rover using internal radios. Uh, so first of all, we're going to set up our base. Uh, so we're going to go to the Equip tab and click on GPS Base. And then uh, we're using an S321, so we're just going to select that from the drop down right there, like that. And then we're going to go to the Comms tab. Now if you've already paired your receiver with your data collector, it should be in this drop-down list here as a serial number, and you can just choose it like I have here. And if you haven't, you can use this wrench button next to the Bluetooth type drop-down to set up new connections. So I'm just going to click on this connect to receiver button up top, and it's going to set up a Bluetooth connection with my base. Alright, successful connection. So I'm just going to go to the receiver tab. Alright, so once you're here, you're just going to want to make sure that you have your antenna type set to hem s 3 sx 17 a and you're going to set your antenna height. Now that's measured from the bottom of the receiver to the ground. I'm going to leave mine at 1.5 meters for now, but you need to measure that in the field. I'm going to go to the RTK tab next and make sure I'm on internal UHF and that I have message type rocks. Then I'm going to hit the configure button next to my device just to make sure I have the right frequencies to talk to the rover. Alright, once here you can see we have a protocol of PC1, that's fine, power of high, and uh, the channel, we can choose any channel we want as long as we make sure it's the same on the rover. We can also enter new channel frequencies here and they'll get saved to that list if we hit the check mark. So I'm just going to hit the check mark, and it's going to configure my radio. Then we hit the check mark again. Alright, so now it's just going to ask me to different ways of finding my base position. So I'm just going to hit read from GPS uh, and 10 times. What that's going to do is it's going to take 10 shots with the receiver and take the average position of all 10 and report that as my base position. So that's what it's doing right now. If I wanted to cancel it, there's a cancel button. And if I thought I'd taken enough shots, I can hit stop averaging and store. And that will take the average of how many it's taken now and store that one. Alright, so if I'm in a busy area, I can use a broadcast ID. I don't need one right now, so I'm just going to hit yes, continue with base setup. And that's just going to talk to the receiver and tell it to start broadcasting and stuff like that. Alright, once it's done, it's going to ask me if I want to save my settings to a file, so I'm just going to click yes and overwrite the one I have. If I ever come back to the same spot in the future, I can load up the same job if I put the base on the same spot, and it will keep those settings. Uh, so next up, I'm just going to go to GPS Rover and do pretty much exactly the same things that I did with GPS Base. I'm going to make sure that it's an S321. I'm going to go to the comms tab and make sure I have the right receiver selected, and then I'm going to connect to it. Right, then I'm going to go to the receiver tab. Make sure my antenna type for the rover is HEM S321. Antenna height, same as the base, you measure it from the bottom of the receiver to the ground. I'm going to leave mine at 1.5 meters. Then you go to the RTK tab. We're going to switch this to internal UHF because that's what we're using. Then we're going to check the radio settings. Alright, so as you can see, I'm actually on a different frequency, so I'm going to switch that to 447. Everything else is the same, so I'll just hit the green check mark up top. And then I'll hit the green check mark up top again to save the settings into the rover. Alright, now I'm just going to go to the survey tab and hit store points so I can monitor my position and my status and my residuals and stuff. Alright, so here you can see I'm already fixed and you can see that I have 5 mils horizontal accuracy and 6 mils vertical accuracy. And I can use this screen to store points and do all that sort of stuff. So now we're set up. 
that's all for today. So if you have any questions, uh, you can give us a call at one 286 3204 or visit our website at www.bench-mark.ca. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.